I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some test questions which can help you get excellent marks. Now we are discussing optimization. The question here is find the length of shortest ladder that can extend from a vertical wall over a fence 2 meter high located 1 meter away to a point on the ground outside the fence. So let me make a diagram to represent the situation so that is absolutely clear to you. So think like this that we have a ladder which is like this and what we have here is a fence in between and the fence is about 2 meter high and that is the fence which is 2 meter high and it is 1 meter away from the wall. So it is 1 meter away and it is 2 meter high. So that is the fence and this is the ladder which we have. So let's read the question. Find the length of the shortest ladder that can extend from a vertical wall. So that is the vertical wall we are talking about. Over a fence 2 meter high located 1 meter away. So this fence is 1 meter away from the wall and that ladder is to be extended from the wall to a point on the ground outside the fence. Not inside but outside the fence. right? So that is how the ladder is. So let us say the points AB represents the length of the ladder. Let's call this point as PQ and I'll just name this as C here. Okay. So that diagram clearly indicates or represents the situation. Now the question before us is we need to find the shortest length of this ladder. Now we'll have let this angle be theta so we can write a relation in terms of theta for length of the ladder. Now some of you can actually pause the video, try it out and then look into my suggestions. Now in this particular case we can write length of the ladder in terms of angle theta. Let me show you how. If I draw a line parallel to the base which is the ground then I get angle theta here also right so this angle is also angle theta now what is AP the length of the letter let us say L could be written as equals to AP plus PB right AP plus PB AP is this is 1 meter so this is also 1 so this hypotenuse AP will be 1 divided by cos of theta. So I could write this as 1 divided by cos of theta. And PB, uh, opposite side to theta is 2 meters, sine theta is now in question. So it will be PB will be 2 divided by sine of theta. So that is how you can find length of the ladder as related with the angle theta itself. Now it's very important to understand that this expression which we have in terms of theta, so length in terms of theta is a function where this is equals to 1 over cos theta plus 2 over sine theta. Now here angle theta is between 0 to 90 degrees, right? It is between 0 to 90 degrees. If I substitute 0 here, then what happens? For 0, sine is 0, so we get infinite length. And for 90, cos is 0, so that is also infinity, right? So what we observe here is that the limit as theta approaches 0 for L theta is actually equals to the limit as theta approaches 90 degrees for L theta and both are approaching infinity, right? infinitely large. So on the boundaries we are getting infinitely large value. Therefore the critical number will represent shortest side. right? So therefore critical number will lead to minimum length or the shortest length of the ladder. right? So will be shortest. So that is how we can say that our critical number is going to be of shortest length. So this is very important to understand. Now to find the critical number let's find the derivative. So what is the derivative? 
derivative of length with respect to angle theta 1 over cos theta so what we can do is we can apply the uh, quotient rule so cos square theta 1 derivative is 0 so we'll have 0 minus 1 times derivative of cos theta which is minus sine theta let me write minus sine theta okay so that is the first term and for the second term derivative of denominator is sine square theta 2 derivative is 0 so we get 0 minus 2 times derivative of sine theta which is cos theta so that becomes the derivative let's take the common denominator simplify so that gets multiplied here so we get sine cube theta and on this side it is minus 2 cos cube theta divided by sine square theta cos square theta correct now for critical number the derivative should be 0 so for critical number derivative should be 0 so we can equate this to 0 so that is our derivative let us equate to 0 and find the critical number so that really means that the numerator is 0 that is to say that sine cube theta minus 2 cos cube theta equals to 0 so that means sine cube theta equals to 2 cos cube theta or we can say sine cube theta divided by cos cube theta equals to 2 and that is tan right which is tan cube theta right or tan theta equals to cube root of 2 so we can use the calculator and find theta where so we can say from here theta equals to tan inverse of cube root of 2 right so shift tan inverse cube root is here cube root of 2 and uh, bracket close equals to 51.56 so we get angle theta equals to 51.56 so what we get here is the critical angle so we say critical angle for us is theta equals to 51.56 since we know that because of the boundary conditions we are getting length infinitely large critical number will give us a shorter length right so that is the angle at which we'll get the shortest length so let's now find the length so what is the length for 51.56 degrees that is equals to 1 over cos of 51.56 plus 2 over sine of 51.56 degrees right let's calculate this so we have 1 divided by cosine 51.56 plus 2 divided by sine 51.56 equals 2 so that gives us approximately 4.16 right so so the dimension is 4.16 in meters so that is the min minimum length of the ladder right so from here we get our answer and that is minimum length is 4.16 meters i hope the steps are absolutely clear so very first step should always be depending on the situation sketch a neat diagram define your variables now we used trigonometry to solve this question and wrote <coughs> we have used trigonometry to solve this question wrote angle theta as the angle which ladder makes with the horizontal or the ground now writing L in terms of 1 over cos theta plus 2 over sine theta helps us to find the derivative with respect to the angle theta and the critical number here represents the shortest side since the boundary conditions will give us infinitely large value. This is a very important concept. 
Once you find the critical number, substitute and find the length of the ladder. Now this question is extremely important. We have similar questions um, in uh, many test papers. I like you to understand the concept and then try out some questions from your book. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.